Uh, guys, please hit the subscribe button and enjoy the contents. Hi uh, guys, so last week's video I showed you my Republican Roman Army that I'd finished and now I'm on to the uh, protagonists, uh, their opponents, which are going to be Hannibal's Carthaginians. So I've ordered some miniatures, these are all from Essex and this is the, the start of my Carthaginian army. So I'll quickly show you what I've got so far. So I've got four packs of MPA 878, which are Libyan spearmen, which I'll get one out and show you what they look like. So there's eight guys in a pack, which will give me eight stands of four. Similar to how I've been doing the Romans. So they're the uh, Libyan spearmen. So I say I've got four packs of them, and there's eight figures per pack. Next up, we've got the command, which is MPA1. Again, it is three mounted guys. Um, and let's have a quick look. We've got three horses. Mounted. Officer there holding this sword. Well, there's a couple of them. Oh, guy with the cloak. I take it he's the big boss man. That's the command. Let them move it. Next up, we've got the bad boy himself, MPA 82, which is, yep, it's a elephant with the hodo. I think it's pronounced. And a couple of spearmen that go inside it. So that'll be the heavy hitter for the army. And then here we've got the Gauls. Now these are actual AGB6, which are British warriors. So there's these ones, see there's some some guys that are naked, some guys are standing there different shields. But there's three packs of them, and I've got these ones which are AGB 10, which are Gauls again, but these are British warriors with uh, swords and shields. So what I'm planning on doing is putting a couple of these in with these. So there's like uh, so there's like a leader who's got a sword in with each of the uh, guys with spears. So they will be my Gaul war bands, and then I've got the Libyan. Spearmen, me commander, and the elephant. So I'll get these all done. As I said, these are yeah, two piece castings which I'm not uh, too keen on. I want to get cavalry for my uh, not for my Carthaginian army, but I don't like the two piece, so I'll probably have a look around. I think uh, Lancashire Games do one piece castings, so I might get some Namidian cavalry off them. Yeah, but I'm not sure I'll have a look around. Might might go to the old faithful and go back to Peter Pig and see what they've got, but they don't really have a great deal of ancients. Uh certainly not a comprehensive range like they have got for the American Civil War. Any go anyway guys, that's it. That's a quick update for me. Um there won't be any more videos this week till next Sunday because I'm uh, a bit busy at the moment. I've got decorating going on in the house, so I, I'm still painting, but I'm not actually painting figures. I'm actually painting walls and ceilings at the moment. So, give you a quick update because I just wanted to show you these because they've arrived, and I, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the figures actually, apart from the two piece mounted ones. But the elephant's an interesting one, it comes in split in three parts, so the body's split and the, the head is a separate piece. That's going to be interesting to put together. Well, again, thanks very much for watching. See you all next time.